everyone, my name is Dawn and this is my daughter Emily. We are here at our home on Treaty 6 land and we're going to be doing a science experiment today. It's an experiment using milk, food coloring, and dish soap. Um, the experiment uh, relies on a reaction happening between the dish soap and the milk. And so we'll explain that chemical reaction later. But we're going to get started with getting everything ready and then we'll show you close up what happens with the experiments. So Emily, I'm gonna pour my milk and you can pour your milk. Okay. We're gonna pour just a little bit to cover the bottom of the plate. Okay, I'll let you get yours ready. And then we're going to take some food coloring and just put a few drops around the outside of our milk. Yeah, That's maybe a little bit more. more. Do just a little bit more. Okay. And then um, you can get your food coloring and do just a few drops. Mm. What colors do you want? These ones. Oh, Purple and pink or red. I think that one is pink. Pinky purpley. Oh, I think it's almost out. Gotta use that one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do blue on both sides of mine. Um, so then you need Q-tips and a little bit of dish soap. I don't think it matters what type of dish soap you use. Um, yeah. How are you doing? You only need a few drops, not too yeah. much. It's going to be beautiful. I want a little bit of this. <laughs> what? It's like art. You're making beautiful milk art. Yes. It's very fancy. Thank you. Okay. Are we ready to try it? Yes. So the next step is just dipping a Q-tip just a little bit in dish soap, and then we'll show you some close-ups of what happens to the milk. It's lasting a really long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Emily, do you want to try yours? Sure. Okay, Emily, just barely touch your Q-tip into the water, and then if you just hold it there, it'll keep reacting. So you can pick different places in your milk where you want it to react. Okay, put it in and then just hold it still for a moment. If it stops reacting, you can try dipping the other end of your Q-tip back into the dish soap. It's really neat to watch all the different colors react with each other. That one's really neat. I like how every time you stop it makes a different ring yeah. color. Try getting some more dish soap on the other end okay. of your q-tip and then try in a new spot again. Mm, look over here. Can I put a little drop of green in it? Sure. Okay, I want to put one little drop of green, two drops right in the center. Go. Okay, try that. It's really fun to see how the colors mix, too. You could do a color mixing experiment. And it's very pretty. It is very pretty. Try putting it right on the end. Can you move your hand so that everyone watching can see? I'll or how about on this hand. edge? Try okay. it on that edge. This yeah. edge. That's really cool. Eventually the reaction will stop um, as it's chemical reaction when everything has reacted then you won't get any more reaction but this is going for quite some time. Yeah. It's doing a really good job. Oh I like how it's making little waves of blue. It's beautiful. I 
think it's slowly stopping. Does it feel like the reaction's slowing down? A little bit. Maybe try it in a different space. Try it up at the top again. Very cool. Well, friends, we hope that you have fun trying this at home. If you try it at home and you get some cool, um, neat designs in your milk, then send us your photos. We'd love to see them, and we'd love to hear how it went for you at home. Have a great day. Welcome to Chemistry Corner with Anna. Hello. I'm here to explain to you the reaction between the milk and the dish soap in chemical terms. So, the milk is full of vitamins and lipids and a bunch of other things that are super healthy for you that are good to drink. However, it's a nonpolar molecule. And nonpolar means that it doesn't like water. So if you have a milk and you have water and they go together, they're not going to like each other. They're, it's a nonpolar molecule. So what happens is when you put the milk in the dish and you have the dish soap, in the dish soap there is something called a micelle. And now my cell, it's very special. It is both non-polar, so it doesn't like water, and it's also a little bit polar. So the very tip of the my cell loves water, and it loves to be near it. So you have the milk in the dish, and you dip your little Q-tip into the soap, and you put it on. What's happening, the milk and the non-polar part of the my cell, they attach together. They're like, we don't like water, we're gonna be friends, we're gonna stay together, we're great. Then, the polar part of the micelle attaches onto the water of the milk. And basically when that happens, it creates a bond, a great friendship, and they're gonna travel together. So you have the water that's part of the milk moving, and it's carrying the micelle and the milk. So when you dip it in, and you see those explosions of the color and the milk, you're seeing the reaction and spreading apart like that. And that's the reaction of the milk and the soap.